guys, Nate from Richard's Guitar Studio. Go ahead and open up the tabs in the descri description um, for to work along with this lesson. Uh, we're going to do another Finding the Note lesson. We did one back in Drill 31. Um, <clears throat> and those the three notes we worked with in Drill 31 were E, B, and F sharp. Today we're going to do A, D, and B flat. <clears throat> and basically, to remind you what the drill is, if you haven't seen it, um, I'll link it in the description. Um, but it's, it's basically, it helps you find notes on the fretboard uh, faster, just by practicing one or two or three notes at a time. So you could even just do this lesson and just do the A note for a week or two and, and you know really get good at that one and then move to the D and so on. So there's no rush on this, there's no like, you, you really don't actually ever, ever complete it too. I mean I've been playing for 25 years and I still practice things like this. So it's an ongoing process to continue mastering uh, the fretboard. So um, so starting with A, we're going to find the lowest A on the guitar on the lowest string, the E string, and that's on the 5th fret. Um, if you have a standard, like, uh, strat or, or whatever, like if you don't have a dot here on the 1st fret, a lot of, most guitars don't, or a lot of them don't, um, this is helpful because, it, you, you know, you generally have a dot on 3, 5, 7, and 9, and the past the 12th fret where the double dot is, these are basically a miniature version of this. So this fret would be like 3, 5, 7, and 9. All right? And then the double dot is the open. And that helps, that helps you find the octave. So for example, the 5th fret, this looks like a 5th fret. If you imagine there's a capo on the 12th fret and it's like this tiny guitar, then there's the fifth fret, all right? So A, A. Then you go to the next string. A is open. It's also the 12th fret. I have 24 frets, so I can find it on my 24th fret as well. And then you keep going through the tabs. You, you learn them, all right? So the next one would be seven. Oh, sorry about that. I could also bend the 24th. Man, that's fret now. Um, and then A here on 10, 22. You don't have to follow me right now. Just kind of go along with the tabs. And then go backwards. Alright, so you kind of find all the A's and practice targeting them. It's okay if you miss them. I miss them sometimes. Um, uh, the next one will be D. So again, go through all the tabs and do them in order. D here, 22nd fret. And just visualize where they are. Here's another open one. same thing with B flat. So um, one thing you could also do is try to use reference points for yourself. Um, and, and again, this lesson isn't for you to like play along with me. It's just sort of me demonstrating what this is and then you sit down with the tablature and, and work out one note at a time and try to really master it. So reference points would be like if I'm imagining this is the fifth fret and this is the fifth fret here on this little tiny octave, right? Or if I have an open string, then I know the twelfth fret is the same. So D and D. All right. If you have twenty-four frets, then it's also the twenty-fourth fret. Um, so another uh, thing to do is if you remember, let's say a D, or, um, let's say an A is here, right? If you're doing A, um, and by the time you get to the D string, you if you know your octaves, then A is right there. So you can find that one based on your pr prior knowledge of A being here. Right. If you haven't played an octave before, it's basically the first three notes of a power chord or a bar chord. So skip a string, skip a fret. The only one it does, or then once it gets to the D string and crosses over the B, 
this first and fourth finger. For that, that, um, I'm kind of getting off track here. So the goal would be to eventually be able to play at uh, 60 beats per minute on a metronome all those notes, you know, in time. A, 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 and so on. All right, all the way up and all the way down. So really just kind of a, a drill for sitting down for five or ten minutes and practicing locating these notes and really visualizing on the fretboard and finding for your own way of how you locate. I mean, I could give you five ways that I do it, and eventually uh, we will do that, um, a lesson called reference points. Uh, but I think it's important for, for you to discover the fretboard for yourself, to, to really look through it. Um, and work with something like this and really discover how it is that you visualize like finding an A. How do you find an A? You know, because it could be different for everybody. Um, so use the tabs, enjoy this one, and uh, make this an ongoing process on to just another way, a linear way of mastering the notes on the guitar in addition to other things you're doing, like hopefully you're learning to read music and, and sight read um, in a classical fashion and, and things like that. Um, and that really helps as well, which is more of a, you know, across the guitar way. Um, so have fun with this one. Let me know if you have any questions.